Cyrus here with the Town Hall 6 Farming Guide for Clash of Clans. In this video guide, I'm going to show you some easy ways to get a lot of resources at Town Hall 6. As you can see, I've pretty much maxed out all my walls already, while I still have yet to max out every building. So the strategy is very effective at getting a lot of gold. And what I like to do is just max out with a full army of barbarians. You do want to upgrade your army camps as soon as you can. And then make sure that you've queued up 55 barbarians at each barracks or however many your barracks holds. So I'm going to queue those up, and I also like to have two healing spells. doesn't matter if they're not upgraded all the way, even a zero-star healing spell is better than nothing. And then we're going to go to attack. For trophy range, I like to stay in the 900 to 1200 range at Town Hall 6. And the reason I've kind of fell below that is I've just been fairly inactive, because I've already maxed out my walls, and I'm just waiting for my, finish, my buildings to max out before I upgrade my Town Hall. So what we're going to do is skip around, and we're going to look for, you know, a base with a good amount of resources. So if I'm looking for both, I like to get 70k of each, and if I'm looking for one particular resource, I want at least 100k at this level range. And then I'm still looking for bases that do not require any spells. For every base that requires a spell, I'd like another, you know, 25 or 30k. So if I'm looking for just gold, if I'm going to drop a light a healing spell, I want to get you know 150k out of it. And if it's I'm looking for both, I want to get you know 100k or so out of it before I drop any spells. So that's an okay base, not quite enough resources. We're just going to keep skipping until we find the right one. Okay, so 130k gold. So this is a pretty good one. Um, it does require spells, though. this is kind of a tough base, because basically all we have is barbarians, and to break through this wall, it's going to be tough. So I'm going to actually go ahead and skip. And there's just easier bases to get. And this is an unusual amount of skips, I think, for what I'm used to. be easier to find a good base, too, if I wasn't so low in the trophy count. You know, like 900 is really my minimum. Okay, so here's a much better base, and as you can see, this base is pretty, pretty much abandoned. has a lot of resources, but this is empty, and these are empty. So that means that all the resources are right here. So all you have to do is drop a string of barbarians, and they're going to go ahead and loot all that. And while they're doing that, I'll just pick off these last couple things, buildings on the outside, just so I max out and get some trophies out of this. You know, as you can see that, you know, all the mines are down. There's very little gold left in these storage units, only about 9k. And if you don't have to use all your barbarians, don't. Just let them, uh, th that will make the next farming attempt faster. Okay, so I've got all the resources I'm pretty much going to get. I'm not going to get the town hall with this few level of troops left. So that's a quick... 168k, you know, with a bonus, it's like a 170, 130 raid. So it's worth skipping around to find those kind of raids. In the meantime, I'm already, you know, past halfway to max. So I'm going to go ahead and re these up. And I've got about, you know, 10 minutes or so until this finishes up, about half that time. Say about nine minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'll be back in a couple minutes to go on my next raid. I'm going to demonstrate a couple for everyone. Okay, so I've taken a bit of a break. I'm going to go ahead and queue up for another round. And just like before, I'm just going to keep skipping until I find something good. This is a pretty good one, but the. Um, Sorry, I'm losing my words here. What I'm trying to say is that this is a good one, but I'm going to need to use my healing spells in order to take it out. And that's okay with me. What I want to do is see if there's anything in the clan castle. No, there's nothing. So I'm going to go and actually try to take out some of this defense here. I'll start with these towers, these exposed ones. I'm just going to go ahead and drop my bulk of my units here. Okay, so I'm really going to pile my units in right here. 
hoping that at some point they will reach this inside area. We'll get most of our I'm going to go ahead and drop my healing, one first healing spell here, just because these barbarians are starting to take some damage. The only thing that's not so great is that I'm not really going to have a, a good way to get this last gold. But I will get most of the resources here. And I'm not going to go ahead and drop, I'm not going to drop a healing spell for these. These are just going to, you know, eventually die off. Yeah, even if I, I drop the healing cell, they'd probably get the Wizard Tower and Town Hall, but eventually these two protective mortars would take them out. So that was plenty good, though. Let's see what we got. Ended up getting, you know, 90k and 160k for just one healing spell. So that's a pretty good attempt. We'll go ahead and train one more. And I, I only like to use the healing spell if I'm going to get a significant reward. So right there, you know, I was able to pick up you know, almost like 275k or so total resources. You know, if I can't get at least 250k, I don't want to use the healing spell. So I'm going to take a little break and I'll resume for one more attack. Just to give you some more, more examples of what I look for when I'm attacking at this level range. Okay, so taking a little break, got our army camp filled up. And let's go ahead and give one more shot. See what we can find. So we're on the first one. This is a pretty good one. I like this one just because... Pretty much all of the resources are in these mines, and if you can see, there's a little small space here. So we're just going to go ahead and take the first one. I'm just going to try to get this little cannon out here. Okay, now that I've gotten that cannon, I can just put as many troops in this area as I want. I'm just going to take a handful and put them out here. They'll take out these two archer towers and they'll be sure to get any of the mines over here. Let's see, okay, so I'm going to save about 20 troops just in case I don't need them. You know, that will make my next farming them faster. Also, because this high level mine has most of the gold in this map, and I want to make sure that. I have units left over to attack, they don't get hung up on something else. This is you can't always accurately predict where your units are going to path. Okay, so it looks like they're able to take that out fine. Then we got most of the resources. Pretty easy farming run. I'm just going to let this run out. So I think I can kill this town hall. Whenever I can, I do try to take the town halls just because it is good for um there's good resources in taking the town halls and it's I'm sorry, there's not good resources to take from the town hall, but there is the achievement, which is something that I do want to get, and you also get experience points for taking out the town hall. So not really for resources, but more for the, you know, humiliation achievement, which will net you some gems at the max level. Alright, so that's about it for this town hall 6 level video. As you can see, three quick, easy, easy runs, get a ton of resources. Much more than I can spend at this point. I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my town hall. And next time I build a freeze up. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more Clash of Clans video guides. And I hope that you enjoyed this, enjoyed this one.